Congress should be doing everything it can to protect families from the threat of gun violence. But time and again, Congresswoman Barbara Comstock says no to closing the loophole in our background check system that allows criminals and severely mentally ill people to get their hands on guns. Let me ask you a question. Who should make decisions about our family's health and safety? The people who know us best or corporate special interests? The state is under pressure from lobbyists to block local government from acting to protect our health and safety. They're pushing laws that put profits ahead of people. And they're keeping local officials from making decisions on our high rents, low wages, and paid sick days. It's time to get corporate lobbyists out of local decisions. Let us decide. Look at this. It says here, Rubio's tax plan will mean we pay a higher rate than Donald Trump. And it'll blow a $10 trillion hole in the deficit. Aren't the Republicans supposed to be better at the economy than Democrats? Maine schools have suffered under Governor Paula Page. He pushed to eliminate all state funding for Head Start programs and slashed funding for public schools, saying that if kids want a good education, they should go to a private school. And that, quote, if you can't afford it, tough luck. There's only one Rhodes Scholar mayor who really has what it takes to beat Donald Trump, and it isn't this guy. It's Cory Booker. United We Win Super PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising. After 34 years in office, what has Nathan Deal's experience gotten us? It hasn't helped Georgia's middle class, and it sure didn't help us in the ice storm. Remember that? Mayor Tom Broderick, making Anderson a great place to come home to. Expanding and improving our trail system, starting a new summer concert series, and creating new holiday events for the whole family. He's spearheading the revitalization of downtown, jump-starting business growth, expanding job training opportunities, and creating jobs. Working with both parties to fund the rebuilding of the 8th Street Bridge, saving taxpayers $13 million. Mayor Broderick is a good man for this city. Mayor Tom Broderick, progress you can see.